So many awesome cities and towns, deciding where in Mexico to travel can be overwhelming. If you want to narrow down your options, read on for the ultimate list of the best places to visit in Mexico. Whether you enjoy beaches, mountains, nature, cities, partying, quaint colonial villages, food, hot weather, chilly temperatures, or all of the above, Mexico has something for you. So in this video, we are going to discuss top 10 places to visit in Mexico. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. 10. Tulum Once upon a time, Tulum was considered an off-the-beaten-path destination in Mexico. The path has definitely been beaten now, as more and more travelers flock here for the white sand and turquoise waters. That being said, you'll still find far smaller crowds here than you will in nearby Cancun and Playa del Carmen. Just be sure to get to the ruins early in the morning to avoid the tour buses. The beaches are great here, but you can't come to this part of Mexico without taking a dip in a cenote. These sinkholes are abundant in the Yucatan, and they're a great place to do a bit of snorkeling or scuba diving. Back in town, there are tons of choices to wine and dine the night away to Lum is one of the best places in Mexico to party. Although not a hidden gem, there are numerous fun things to do in Tulum, and it's still one of the best places to visit in Mexico. 9. Oaxaca Capital of the state of the same name, Oaxaca is one of the most popular city destinations for travelers interested in sampling a taste of the real Mexico. An interesting mix of native Indian and Spanish elements, the city has remained largely untouched by the kind of large developments that have sprung up in some of the country's other popular destinations, and as a consequence, it has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In addition to its unspoiled city center and old architecture, the city has become a cultural hub that draws crowds for its numerous events and festivals, including the spectacular Gelaguetza, an indigenous festival that takes place each July and includes traditional dancing, costumes, music, food, and crafts. If you happen to extend your stay in Oaxaca, it's worth a trip down the mountains to the coast to experience some of the state's very best beaches. 8. San Miguel de Allende Another charming town, located just 150 miles from Mexico City, is San Miguel de Allende. Founded by a monk, the town still does not have any traffic lights, allowing you to get a feel for the real Mexico. However, it's growing rapidly, as new investors buy up land and build resorts, so visit it before it gets overcrowded over the next decade. This charming, colorful city boasts a temperate climate, a vibrant art scene, and a beautiful church at its center. There are numerous things to do in San Miguel de Allende to keep you busy. Outside of town, you'll find hot springs, horseback riding, cycling, and more. While it's true that San Miguel is somewhat of a gringolandia, that doesn't mean you can't enjoy a local experience here. It's one of the best places in Mexico to study Spanish, and there are several options for homestays where you can live with a local family and get lots of practice. 7. Yilapa Those looking to escape the all-inclusive resorts, chain stores, and packaged tour groups that descend upon Puerto Valera should consider hopping on a speedboat and heading 45 minutes south in the Bay of Banderas to Yilapa. It's not an island, but it sure feels like one. Since it's wedged in between the mountains and the ocean, there are no roads or cars here. This small fishing village once attracted famous actors and musicians, like Bob Dylan, who sought an escape here in this little slice of paradise in Mexico. You might not find Mr. Tambourine Man hanging in Yalapa anymore, but you'll be able to enjoy horseback riding, hiking to a waterfall, or just chilling in a hammock listening to the sounds of waves crashing and kids playing. Life is slow here, and life is good. Don't miss Yilapa if you're looking for unique places to visit in Mexico. 6. The Mayan Ruins If you're a history buff, a visit to some Mayan ruins in addition to Teotihuacan is a must-do. Even if archaeology doesn't interest you that much, they're still worth seeing. There are many Mayan ruins all over Mexico, as the Mesoamerican civilization stretched across much of the region. Regardless of which part of the country you are visiting, you'll probably find some sort of ruins nearby. The ruins are leftover remains of the cities the Mayans built. If you're staying in Yucatan, consider visiting Chichen Itza, one of the most famous and most visited ruins. 
you can get there from Cancun. If you're in Tulum, the Tulum ruins will be close by. 5. San Juan Teotihuacan If you've ever seen a travel brochure for Mexico, you probably noticed pictures of its famous pyramids. Many fly into CDMX just to visit them. They're a short drive away, and you can go yourself or as part of a tour. San Juan Teotihuacan includes the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon. But it's not limited to them. It's a massive archaeological complex left over from pre-Hispanic civilization. 4. Campeche Located on the shore of the Gulf of Mexico, the capital of the state of Campeche is the gateway to a rising star of a state. It really is a fairy tale of a city, straight out of the pages of a storybook. Picture pastel-colored buildings, cobblestone streets, a gleaming white church, and a centro historico surrounded by protective walls. Book a stay in Hacienda Puerta Campeche, a stunning historic hacienda-turned-luxury hotel, which is right at the heart of the city. This is the perfect place from which to walk to all the stunning local landmarks in the Centro Historico. 3. Baja California Tourists from Europe or the East Coast may find it easier to fly into Mexico City or Cancun. However, those from the West Coast often drive down to San Diego and cross the land border to Baja California. Some even fly into San Diego and go straight from the airport to the border. Baja California is a Mexican state situated right under California. Crossing the border from San Diego to Tijuana is a quick and easy process you can drive over or cross by foot, instead of spending a lot of time in the border town of Tijuana. Head further south to the port city of Ensenada, where you'll find delicious food options, a quaint center, and nature hikes. If you're a wine enthusiast, you can take a short tour out of Ensenada to the beautiful Wine Valley. For a more luxurious option, head to Rosarito, around 25 minutes from Tijuana, where you can enjoy clean beaches and fresh air. 2. Guadalajara Mexico's second largest city definitely lives in the shadow of the capital. But Guadalajara has enough going on that you should also include it when choosing your places to visit in Mexico. After all, this is the birthplace of tequila and mariachi. In addition to sampling both, there are quite a few cultural sites to take in. Most of these are located in the Centro Historico and are easily visited in a day. For sports fans, Guadalajara is home to two football teams. You can catch the wildly popular Chivas or the ultimate underdog Atlas for a wild, beer-soaked good time. No visit to Mexico would be complete without an evening of Lucha Libre and the Estation Pub runs a great party bus to the arena every Tuesday night. Be sure to grab a colorful mask as a great souvenir. When backpacking Mexico, don't miss all of the amazing things to do in Guadalajara and the party nights. 1. Mexico City When it comes to the world's most dynamic cities, Mexico City is up there right along with London, New York, Tokyo, and Paris. It is electric, exciting, an explosion of color, and deeply rooted in its ancient past. Mexico City sits directly on the site of the Aztec's capital city, Tenochtitlan, so its roots are as old as Mexico's itself. Mexico City offers plenty of things to do. It has more than 1,200 museums and galleries, dozens of neighborhoods each with its own vibe, restaurants, world-class shopping, and Chapultepec Park, one of the most beautiful green spaces in the world. Yet here, you'll find most of Mexico City's major highlights, many within walking distance of Constitution Square, the city's bustling main plaza, including the National Palace, the Metropolitan Cathedral, and the Templo Mayor with its Aztec relics. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this, make sure to like the video and hit subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.